It's time to learn some English from celebrity interviews. And today's guest is Steve Carell, actor, comedian. He is in a lot of funny movies and series. It's time to check it out, enjoy the video, and learn. I was up at five in the morning with a <laughs> cup of coffee sitting at the television set, and I didn't wake up my wife. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to disturb her. But unbeknownst to me, she was upstairs in the bedroom watching <laughs> at the same time. Well, here he said, unbeknownst to me, she was watching it upstairs. Unbeknownst to me, what does it mean? It means without my knowledge. If I say I was watching the TV show downstairs and unbeknownst to me, she was also watching it upstairs, I mean that I was downstairs and I didn't know she was watching it upstairs. She did it without my knowledge. I didn't know she was doing it. So you could say unbeknownst to me, but you could also say unbeknown to me or just without my knowledge, which means I didn't know it was happening. This is what it means. Next. You no, know, I was very lucky to be offered a part like that. It's not, I didn't think I would be on the short list for a part like, well, there's the picture. Yeah. It's, I didn't think I would be on the short list for the part. On the short list. That is a selected group of people. Imagine you are trying to find a new job. There are lots of people trying to get the same job, but at the end, there's a small list of favorites. There is a small list of favorite candidates. So that is the short list. If you are on the short list, you are on the list of favorite candidates be it for a job or any other task. If you are one of the favorites, you are on the short list. That's it. Next. That is not something that I was throwing my hat in the ring for because I just, I didn't see myself playing a part like that. That is not something I was throwing my hat in the ring for. Throw my hat in the ring for something. It means that you are willing, it means that you want to take up a challenge. Say some people invite you to go and climb a mountain. It's hard, it's difficult, but you throw your hat in the ring for it. You say, yes, I'm in. I know it's hard, but I'm willing to do it. I want to take up that challenge. Maybe it's a second job. You have a job and now you got another job offer. You could do both jobs at the same time. That may be hard, it may take up a lot of your time, but then you say, I throw my hat in the ring for it. I'm in, count me in. I'm willing to take up that challenge. This is what it means. Next. No, he was, he was an odd bird, to be sure. Um... He was an odd bird. Odd bird. Odd. This word means strange, it means different, it means weird, the word odd. Now, odd bird, odd bird, that is an expression that refers to a strange person. If you know someone who is strange, different, eccentric, that person is an odd bird. It's not necessarily something negative. You could be an odd bird, I could be an odd bird but some people may not like it. Do you know any odd birds? Leave it in the comments. Next. The most interesting part of that was watching the outtakes because he was instructing the documentarian. Watching the outtakes. What are the outtakes? Well, if you're making a movie, if you are shooting, if you're filming all the parts that you want to include in your movie, there are some parts that you end up adding to the movie and there are some other parts that are rejected because they are not so good or because there are too many scenes. So these scenes that are taken out of the movie, these scenes that are not included in the final film, those are the outtakes. The outtakes. Sometimes after watching a movie 
and after the credits, the outtakes or some outtakes may be included. Maybe some bloopers. Bloopers are the scenes that are rejected because the actors were laughing or because the actors made a mistake or there was a small accident. So those scenes may be funny. They are bloopers and they are not included in the movie because they went wrong. Those are bloopers. Do you like watching movie outtakes? What about bloopers? Do you find them funny? Leave it in the comments. Next. He stands to make hundreds of millions of dollars off of the downfall of the American economy. So he's not altruistic, you know. Yeah. He, he definitely has some skin in the game. Just... He definitely has some skin in the game. If you have skin in the game, it means you are directly involved in or maybe even affected by something, especially financially. If you have a business and you invest your money in that business, you want it to succeed. You are expecting it to be successful. And if it isn't, you lose your money. Your money is gone, which means you have skin in the game. Next. How did you do it? I ate a lot of deep dish pizza. Are you familiar with deep dish, Chicago I, deep I, dish pizza? I'm yes. relatively not as familiar as you obviously became, but I am oh. familiar. Deep dish pizza. When you think about pizza, you may think of that thin dough. That is the typical pizza. The deep dish pizza, which is very common in places like Chicago, for example, it's not thin, it's thick because it is made in a pan. So it is deep. It's not shallow. It's a different type of pizza. What about you? Did you ever eat this type of pizza? Leave it in the comments. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, leave a comment. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask. Thanks for watching, and if you want to watch more videos, there are links here and here. That's all. Thanks. Bye.